Hi, I'm Oscar from Sims and Finn Chiropractic, and my camera woman today is Charlotte behind the camera. We're going to talk about upper cervical chiropractic and how it differs from traditional chiropractic. So, upper cervical chiropractic is an approach that places a really strong focus on the alignment of the head and the neck. The first vertebra in your spine is known as your atlas, C1. The second vertebra in your spine is known as your axis, which is C2. And together, these comprise what's commonly referred to as the upper cervical spine. Now, the atlas and axis are in close proximity, coming in a little bit, to a central portion of your nervous system called the brainstem. Your brainstem is responsible for the control and coordination for many of your body's vital functions. When changes to the connective tissues occur due to accidents and injuries, the atlas and axis can misalign and lock into a stress position, resulting in pressure, in tension, in irritation and disruption to blood flow, and in variances to the cerebrospinal fluid, which is the fluid that helps, nutri uh, that helps provide nutrients to the brain. It can alter the circulation of that. So the purpose of an upper cervical adjustment is to restore normal structural alignment of the head and the neck. By addressing these underlying primary neurostructural shifts, restoration of many of the normal functions of the body can happen. So we can improve blood flow, we can improve CSF supply to the brain, but most importantly, we can improve the relationship between your spine and your nervous system. So upper cervical adjustments are very specific, they're very gentle, they're very different from traditional chiropractic adjustments to the upper neck. There's no rotation or twisting, there's no popping or cracking noises. At each appointment, an evaluation is performed to determine if there have been any neurostructural changes in between visits that would require a specific adjustment to realign the upper cervical spine. Charlotte, you're doing well, I can see the hands are getting tired. Because of the specific nature of upper cervical chiropractic, Chiropractors who utilise this approach usually see a variety of complex neurological signs and symptoms in their offices, in addition to some of the more uh, traditional cases such as back pain, neck pain, headaches. But some of the more complex neurological cases that we deal with here in this office include tinnitus, include uh, migraines, eustachial tube dysfunction, TMJ disorders, a whole variety. But an essential part of any upper cervical chiropractic examination are specific radiographs to visualise this upper cervical region, but more importantly, apart from visualising structurally how it's all positioned, the analysis of these radiographs allow us to identify the correct and appropriate method in which to adjust the spine, including the correct approach and vector. So if you're interested in learning more about upper cervical chiropractic and the techniques that we use here at Sims and Finn, jump on our website here, Sims and Finn Chiropractic. We've got great information on the approaches that we use, but also the manner in which an upper cervical consult occurs. Fantastic.